Morning, everyone. A train tragedy in Ottawa causes multiple fatalities. It's a fluid situation and we are on it. I'm Anita Sharma. You're watching Canada Live. Let's continue with our coverage of the deadly crash in Ottawa. At least five people are dead, several others injured after a via rail train and a double-decker bus collided in the south end of the city. The crash happened before 9 o'clock Eastern. Emergency crews are on the scene right now, and so is our Sun News reporter, Jessica Hume. Jessica, what can you tell us right now? Well, this is a very dramatic scene. We still have the, the we can see the train. It's a, a, a via train that's clearly uh, been derailed. Uh, there seems to be quite a bit of carnage. We're seeing a lot of blue tarps uh, over various parts of the tracks. Uh, we're also, I'm, I'm staring right now at the bus. Uh, this is the bus that was in the collision with the train. Uh, it looks like the train must have hit the, the bus side. Uh, it hit the front left side. The, the very front of this bus is pretty much ripped off completely. Um, so again, it, it looks very dramatic. And I did have a chance to speak with several witnesses. Uh, one of them, I spoke with a man. He was uh, on his way to work. He said the bus was packed. Uh, he wasn't really paying attention to the road at the time of the impact. But he said the bus was going tremendously fast. Uh, and at a certain point, he, did, he felt a, a, a tremendous force. And this is when uh, he said he was sitting at the back of the bus. His face uh, hit the back of the seat in front of him. So um, in terms of the scene on the bus, he said that there was a yelling. Uh, people seemed to be very much in shock. Mm -hmm. And upon leaving the bus, uh, this is when he said he, he saw bodies. Some of them were moving. Some were not moving. He said he saw many body parts. Uh, a very uh, macabre uh, scene that he's describing. I spoke with another witness um, who said that the passengers had actually tried to communicate with the driver ahead of the collision that he should slow down. Oh, wow. Uh, this is interesting. The bus was, uh, you know, as we know, these, the guardrails come down, blocking off streets from train tracks when there's a train about to go by. Yeah. What we saw this witness was that that date uh, was down, but that the, tr the driver was still heading for it at a very high speed. So passengers on this bus took it upon themselves to start yelling at him to slow down. Uh, so in the, the words of one witness, Alex Beijing, he said, uh, I guess the driver didn't realize he was so close. So, uh, you know, lots of questions there. In terms of getting more answers, there is a, a press conference expected sometime this hour. This will be uh, attended by the mayor, police chief of Ottawa. As yeah, well that's as happening in about uh, 15 minutes time, we believe. Yeah, so this uh, this is going to be an anticipated uh, conference. We still don't have, I mean, at least for us, for those of us here on the scene, the police have declined to uh, confirm the number of deaths, the uh, number of injuries. Though I did uh, have one police officer say to me that he's never seen an accident like this in his 25 years on the force. Yeah, very, uh, very, very troubling events unfolding for folks who are living in Ottawa and watching us right now. Uh, for anyone who may possibly not know about this at the stage, let's just set up exactly where this has happened. We're looking at a map, a general map of the area, but it's what, uh, Jessica, an OC Transpo bus. It was traveling northbound on the transit way and, uh, and train 51 was en route to Toronto. It was heading westbound, obviously, when this collision yeah. occurred. Now, firefighters are telling us that this happened right before 9 o'clock Eastern, 8.48 is the time we're actually getting. And the intersection for folks who live in that area or for folks who know people who live in that area who take these buses, the intersection is Woodruff Avenue and Followfield Road? Yep, that's right. And uh, the, the via train, as you mentioned, this is a commuter train. It goes yep. from uh, Ottawa to Kingston and Toronto. And you know, this stop, policy field, this is the first stop right out of the greater Ottawa area. And this, you know, just before 9 a.m., we're talking about packed trains here. This is, you know, everybody's morning commute on their way to work. So, you know, given the fact that the one witness said the bus was absolutely packed, it's not that much of a stretch to assume uh, that these very busy commuter trains were also packed, Nita. Yeah, and Jessica, I know a lot of people are on that scene right now. We've been hearing about people who have family and friends who who would have been taking this bus, who want answers. They want to know who was uh, uh, who's made it off this bus, uh, who's injured off this bus. Just more details as they can get them. Tell us, if you can, what firefighters uh, are saying with respect to uh, fatalities at this point. 
Well, again, I wish I had a more uh, conclusive answer for you. Neither the, the firefighters nor police on the scene have been disclosing much information. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the most forthcoming that they've been is to say that there is this press conference, uh, you know, which we've talked about. But um, I, there seems to be more police and ambulance presence here than firefighters, though my sense is uh, many of those initial first responders have since left. I'm also uh, I'm on one side of the track, and there's a lot of emergency people on the other side. So it seems very much that the uh, law enforcement here are not really interacting with uh, with our reporters all that much. Uh, you know, they're coming over occasionally to give us very kind of uh, vague updates. But um, you know, I, I'm I'm anticipating that such stories as much as everybody else. Uh, yeah. I too uh, have many questions that I uh, would love answered. Jessica, uh, I'd heard that, uh, and I don't know if you can confirm this or not, and I'm going to take your word for everything at this point, but uh, I heard that there were people being taken off the bus and they were being uh, uh, trekked off past reporters. Is that right? Did you see anyone? Uh, we did see some yeah. paramedic uh, vehicles go by. I mean, in terms of seeing the people, you know, I haven't actually seen any bodies. I mm-hmm. haven't seen any injuries. But, yes, absolutely, there's been, uh, I'd say, Three or four, at least, paramedic trucks have, uh, you know, had people go into them and then leave the scene just since I've been here. And, and uh, like you said, this is happening uh, right in front of our eyes. The train wreck is on one side of the road. Yeah. We are here standing on the other. So a lot of the activity is happening right in between uh, the reporters and the crash. And uh, tell me, if you can, uh, what is the atmosphere there like? Is Are the crowds growing? Are there more people showing up looking for answers uh, with respect to this crash that just happened? There are tons of people here. There seem to be more reporters gathering. Uh, You know, rubberneckers, of course, uh, are always on a scene like this. And, of course, it's always difficult to tell which are the reporters and uh, not. I guess the the iPhone out is uh, kind of a dead giveaway. But, you know, there's a lot of people here. Uh, In terms of, you know, police and more official uh, individuals, they seem to be thinning out. Uh, I think that in terms of, you know, what's happening on the scene, I feel like the, the focus of this, terrible crash is now going to be on the investigation and, uh, you know, reaction and kind of explanations and left to do with uh, this actual state where I am right now. Absolutely, because, and you you said this off the top, there are a lot of questions right now being asked about the driver of yeah. the bus. Some people were saying that this uh, accident could have been a lot worse as far as the train side is concerned. We're hearing, and these are just reports we should uh, we should stress, but we're just we're hearing that it's it's minor injuries at best as far as train uh, uh, passengers are concerned. But the bus fatalities, Jessica. Uh, yeah, I mean I, the the bus. I'm staring at it. It looks mangled. I mean, it's yeah. it's, uh, it's difficult to imagine how many people could have walked out of that situation unscathed. Uh, of course, there are many injuries and sadly fatalities. But I don't know. This uh, this is an ugly scene right here, and uh, I think that the the uncertainty in terms of how many people have died and been injured um, is troubling for many. Yeah, we're looking at a live shot of the scene, Jessica. Right now, the cars are all piled up, and we can see the mangled uh, the train at the at the top uh, left of the screen. It looks like a horrible situation. Indeed. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is not how anybody wants to start their day. And, you know, as I said earlier, this was uh, these are commuter vehicles here, both the train and the bus. So, yeah. you know, lots of people who are just going about their regular morning. Uh, absolutely no uh, anticipation of something as horrific as this. All right. Jessica Hume on the scene. Thank you so much for this update. We're going to check in with you. Uh, so, so stay close. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Anita. All right. That, of course, is Sun News reporter from Ottawa, Jessica Hume, on the scene of that crash in the southern part of the city. Let's talk now to a witness to this crash. Jada Siggers joins us from Ottawa. Hello, Jada. Hello. Can you set up the situation for us? Uh, What did you see this morning? Um, Well, this morning I was on a bus that was heading back to Fallowfield Station where the bus that was in the accident was leaving from. Um, The bus driver had announced um, that we would not be able to take the trans away due to a severe accident on the trans away, so we would stay on Woodruff Avenue. So we drove right past the incident probably about shortly after 9 o'clock, so not that long. It must have been um, devastating to see. It was absolutely devastating. I mean, I don't take the bus very often. My husband takes it every single day and mm-hmm. happened to take the bus just prior to that one. Oh, my goodness. Um, into this so the, the so same I, route, I knew... your husband Your husband takes uh, the bus that's on that same route, but he took the one just ahead of this one. Yes, he sprinted and got the one just before that because he went in late to work because he was 
waiting um, because I was in the city and coming home. So, yeah, it was absolutely devastating. The front of the bus was completely destroyed. You must be doing some serious praying right now. I'm very thankful that she goes to the gym very often, was able to sprint. Yes, (laughs) definitely. Definitely. So, but yeah, I'm... I'm definitely sad for the families that have been affected in our community because I live in this community as well. Tell me a little bit about the community, if you can. So this is the southern part of Ottawa, intersection being Woodruff Avenue and Fallowfield Road? Yes, it is. So it's a a southern suburb of the city of Ottawa called Barhaven. Um, So it's a commuter suburb. A lot of people here take public transport into the city. Um, It's a very family-oriented neighborhood. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. A lot of passengers obviously involved in this. We are hearing from the train side that it's uh, likely going to be uh, minor injuries at best. But unfortunately, we are just awaiting the number, but we do know that there are multiple fatalities uh, on the bus side. Uh, Have you been able to talk to any other witnesses, uh, garner any reaction from your end? No, I haven't. I mean, I sort of, when I got to the bus station, there was a few gentlemen there that had gotten off the bus that was... Um, involved in the accident. They were fairly shaken up, um, but at that time, too, I was also needing to get home um, (laughs) to my family and also confirm that um, other people that we did know in our neighborhood were not, in fact, on that bus, which so far it has not been. But unfortunately, there are people that have been severely affected by it. Absolutely. Uh, And like you said, you're you're quite thankful and grateful. Uh, Your husband, uh, for people who are just joining in, Uh, was not on that bus, thank goodness, but uh, it is a route uh, that he takes every day, and he was on the bus just ahead of that one. Yes. All right. Well, uh, best wishes to your family and to the community. We want to thank you very much for uh, joining us on Canada Live with uh, your account of, uh, of the situation. Thanks so much, Jada. Thank you. Bye. All right. That is Jada Sager, who's a witness to the crash, joining us on the line from Ottawa.